Hi everyone, we at Intesgal have a huge update for you in July and I'm excited to show you all the features we built. Let's go. So the first one is of course the new Secrets Auto View screen. You are now able to much easier inspect secrets across your environment. So in this case, you can see that Prod Asia environment is missing all of its secrets. And on the other hand, Prod EU is missing a Stripe ID. You can then go and inspect the secret values across all of these environments. You can even edit secrets uh, right from this dashboard. They're going to be saved. Um, yeah, the yellow circles, very interesting design. What they mean is an empty value. So if your secret is present in a certain environment, but the value is empty, it's going to be shown as a circle here. The next really important update is the new secret referencing and importing functionalities. Let's say we want to go in a prod age environment. We can see that it's missing all of its secrets right now. If you go to explore it, we can see that we are now able to add imports. So let's say we add an import from a prod US environment. So once we create it, you'll be able to see that all these prod US secrets are actually inherited uh, in the prod Asia environment. And we can go ahead and overwrite secrets. Let's say we want to overwrite Billio ID with a different one. So this one is going to prevail um, compared to the prod US. And we can go ahead and save changes. On top of that, we can also reference secrets from different environments and folders in a following way. Let's say we want to reference the Twilio ID value from a dev environment. This is all we need to do. And once we save it, every time now the secret is updated in the Twilio, in, in the dev environment, it will also be propagated to prod Asian environments. And this is only relevant to the values of the secret. So if we change the value here to Twilio key, the value will still be taken from the development environment. So that's a slight difference between importing and referencing because importing takes both keys and values. References only takes values. Another really important update is eight new native integrations with various third-party tools like Bitbucket, Cloud66, CodeFresh, DigitalOcean App Platform, Laravel Forge, North Plank, Terraform Cloud, and OneMill. Again, all of these integrations work in a way that as soon as you update secrets in and physical, they will also be propagated to all those platforms, which helps you create a single source of truth for your secrets. And I'm also very happy to say that a lot of these integrations are actually developed by our community. And I wanna give a huge shout out to them uh, because they've been incredibly helpful to us and you can join us uh, our, us and our community um, in our Slack. Uh, it's in physical.com slash Slack. Um, and yeah, we would love to see you there. Something that a lot of companies have been waiting for is actually the new authentication methods, and in particular, SAML SSO. So InPhysical now supports SAML SSO with Okta, Azure AD, and Jamcloud. More identity providers will be coming out as we go, and we have a GitHub issue for it. So if you need any particular uh, identity provider, we also had some requests for things like OATC um, and so on. You can request those on GitHub, and this will help us understand what's the interest for those, and we will uh, prioritize them. We also uh, have rolled out Google SSO already, so you're able to log in with Google. And actually, it's a spoiler for August, but just a couple days ago, we also rolled out the GitHub SSO, so you can now also log in with your GitHub uh, account. Yeah, very excited about that because it's a huge security uh, benefit, and uh, we hope you like it too. An important thing to mention is the new webhooks feature that we created. So webhooks can be used to trigger changes to your integrations when secrets are modified, providing smooth integration with other third-party integrations. There's going to be more information on webhooks coming out soon. Uh, and we're going to be releasing a blog post with different use cases of why webhooks can be helpful. Uh, but also excited for you to try it out. If you have any questions, again, join us on our Slack. Uh, and we're always happy to help and learn about your use cases. And another important thing to mention is that we announced Aki uh, joining our team. Uh, I'm very, very excited for this. Uh, Aki is an amazing engineer, and it's been honestly a, a great pleasure working with him. So I'm excited to see what we get to build together uh, and uh, all the new features that we release very, very soon. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed these features and you'll try them out soon. We're going to be doing more of these seeds videos now. And if you like them, please hit subscribe. And if you have any feedback, please let me know in the comments.